And here we have Navy officer caught paying for sex on dating apps. Let me tell you something right now. And I hate to be the bearer of bad news. But if you're on a dating site, you're already paying for sex. Why do I say that? Well, these dating sites will not work as intended. Borderline won't even work at all if you don't pay. If you don't pay. Oh, hey, you, uh, someone liked your profile. Would you like to see who liked your profile? Well, yes, I would. I would love to see who liked my profile. Oh, wait, I can't see who liked my profile until I spend $9.99. $19.99, $29.99 for the ultra and the boosts and all this stuff. If you're on a dating site right now, you are already paying for sex. You are. You might think you're, you're out there looking for love. You might think you're out there looking for a relationship. All things that you're probably not going to find on a dating website because they don't want to show you these things. They don't, man. That's how they stay in business. You keep, they keep you in a hamster wheel. They keep you in this cycle. They keep you on the Ferris wheel. And as long as they keep you on there, they can keep milking you for more money. Because in order to find what you want, in order to find what you're looking for, in order to use all of the super awesome features that would help you find the person that you want, guess what you gotta do? That's what it is. And a lot of, a lot of the females on there are looking for dudes that they can't have. And all of the males on there are just looking for a quick little smash and pass or smash and dash, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Right? So no one wins. The only people that do are the ones that run the site. So hate to be the bearer of bad news, but that's kind of the way it works. I suggest you get off these dating websites. If you're on them, you're, it's, 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 it's not. It's not going to help you. Sorry. It's just not. I realized this a long ass time ago. Realized this a long ass time ago. If you're a gamer, you're going to understand what I'm about to say right now. Dating websites in 2024. And it started years ago. But as I live and breathe and I speak right now, dating websites are pay to win. And in some cases, 85, maybe 87, highest 89% of the time, you don't even win. More of just like pay to play. Kind of like the lottery, really. You just keep spinning that wheel. You just keep swiping, right? On the off chance that you see something that you might like, right? Dopamine in your head, release dopamine in your brain, endorphins releasing all these, all these awesome feelings into your body that makes it seem like oh next one could be the next one could be the one next one could be my love next one could be my next date next one could be my future wife my next one could be the 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 next best thing right just keep swiping and swiping and swiping and swiping and a month later you've done spent 40 fucking dollars and you still haven't found no one if that's you Get the fuck off the dating sites, man. Telling you. Telling you. Anyways, said all that just to get to this. Navy officer caught paying for sex on dating apps. If you're on a dating app, you're already doing what this guy's doing. However, this guy is probably... I probably... I, pro I think I know what this guy's doing. I think he's straight up just like DMing girls and liking their profile. And they DM him back and he's literally offering them money. Maybe. Possibly. Kind of creepy, kind of fucking weird. Imagine paying for sex. Um, but hey, it's, it's a lot better than the last guy that was installing hidden cameras in the bathrooms of places that were frequented by young teenagers. So there's that. <sighs> Let's see.
Listen, I know the dating app world is crazy, but maybe when you go over to that person's home after meeting them, there should be a couple red flags when you see the SpongeBob bedspread and a whole bunch of Batman action figures surrounding his race car bed. <laughs> All right, listen up. Before I get too involved in this video, it's going to be talking about assault of a sexual nature. So if I say assault, that's our code word for the non-wanting, non-consensual kind of thing. You feel me? Yes. And two, there's over two million people in the military. I'm not saying that the military is filled with any bad people. I'm saying that sometimes bad people are in happen the to be in the military. Yes. And here I am letting them know that they're pieces of shit. Yes. And that brings us to round two of creepy officers touching people who shouldn't be touched. We already know about the lieutenant colonel that was videotaping young ladies in their dressing rooms, with obviously without their permission. Link to that video right there. But this time, it's a Navy officer combing far and wide across the internet for the youngest of twinks. How young, you might ask? Pretty young. Pretty freaking young. Online dating and not verifying the age of the- I was absolutely wrong. This is actually worse than what I thought. Jesus H. Fuck. People that you're talking to, I will, some might say that's a bad habit. And I would think you should want to stop that bad habit. Get down to the- wonder how much this video is gonna piss me off. Let's, let's see. Unfortunate story. Everybody politely boo. Lieutenant Commander Lucas Martinez, boo. Lieutenant Commander. Boo, everybody boo. You suck. Well, he is a fleet commander in the Navy's readiness center and boy, is he not ready to assault some teenagers. You see, Mr. Martinez here got picked up on March 13th for <clears throat> the assault of a 14 year old boy. Oh, you are. Bro. Is there not an age limit to these dating sites? Is there not an age limit? What the fuck is going on? Is there not an age limit to these? Well, then again, bro, you do it on your phone and you can always just lie and pick an age that you're not and say an age that you're not and the, the, the verification process is probably lackluster, but fuck. Is there not an age limit on this? Like, I've been on dating sites before, right? But... Obviously, I was looking for girls my age. Never, never dawned on me that there could be anyone else on the platform that was that much younger than me. Parents, it's on you, bro. It's on you. It, it, uh, 14 years old. What, did, what the fuck is a 14-year-old doing on a dating website? But, bro, they should be doing sports. They, 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 should, they, they should be out running through the woods. Uh, fucking lighten a bag full of dog shit on fire and put it on someone's porch that they should be that they should be playing video games and and, and fucking what are they doing on a dating website <laughs> obviously i 14 14 is that age where you you start to get curious and 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 obviously you're interested in opposite or same sex whatever you're into but <sighs> parents what the fuck are you? Watch your kids, bro. This, this, uh... Type of person. Communication with a minor for immoral purposes. And thank you so much for the follow, man. Immoral, I would say so. After looking up a couple things for this article, I would like to bleach my eyes out. <laughs> now this whole shenanigan starts when mom of said 14 year old boy discovers in late January that her son, the 14 year old is getting boxes of sex toys and creepy little outfits for the sexy times. For some of you, for some of you parents that, that, okay, so, so, okay, look, I, I, I understand. We, we live in a scary world and it's a lot more scary today than it was 30 years ago, man, or even 40 years ago, or even 50 years ago. Remember back in the day where you could just leave your door unlocked? Yeah, I remember those days. Okay, so I understand that your kid might need a cell phone. I do, okay? I understand, you know, he goes out with friends, maybe he goes to the movies, uh, maybe he goes to a football game, or maybe he goes to a pep rally, right? Or maybe he spends the night at someone's house, 
and god forbid something happens you you want to get in contact with your kid and you want your kid to get in contact with you i understand that the, the world is increasingly getting more and more dangerous and and, and especially more and more dangerous for kids uh, when, when i was a kid I, I used to be able to roam the neighborhood by myself whenever i wanted uh as late as i wanted or as early as i wanted and i was never in any kinds of danger and there was nothing that would ever that ever could have happened to me right however if you're going to give your kid a cell phone you can lock certain apps. My dad does this with my little brother, okay? You can lock apps. You can make it to where your kid will need your permission to download something. Your kid will need your permission to go on YouTube. Your kid will need your permission to pull up Safari. Your kid will need your permission to, to hell, to even open up emails. You can do this with parental controls. This, these are features now on phones. Man, y'all need to start doing these things, okay? Because if my, my little brother wanted to download uh, a mobile game, right? I think it was trying to download Angry Birds. And when he hit download, it, it, it said parental lock, you need a code for, you You need uh, you need permission and a code and verification from the owner of this device in order for you to download this app, which means he had to go to my dad and my dad had to go on his phone, verify what he was downloading, and then he could download it. And then my dad put in the code and he could download the app. These things exist now. Y'all need to look into it. Y'all need to do it because. Said to him, I pray to God it's not a dog mask. I pray to God it's not one of those freaky leather dog masks. So seeing all these freaking sex toys and weird kinky outfits sent to her 14 year old son, mom calls the cops, rightfully so. I'd be freaked out if somebody was sending my kid that shit and says, hey, listen, something's going on. There needs to be investigation. I'm here to help. This kid's, we don't know the whole story. Let's figure it out. And then- Yes, I don't think, if you're under 18, you don't belong on a dating site. Period. Period. Do what we used to do back in the day and go out into public and actually talk to a girl. Go talk to a boy. Go to the movies. Go to the park. Go to the fair. Go, go to a, a fall festival. Go to a concert, right? Y'all don't belong on these sites. Man, under 18, you do not belong on these sites. For what? For what, man? These sites are for, are for people like me, man. Uh, people over the age of 25. Man. Nowadays, it's just for single moms, but uh, not for you. It's not for you. It, it, it was never meant. I, I don't think it was ever meant for you. It's, it's a slippery slope, really. Just a couple weeks later on February 9th, well... The young man decided to tell mom, well, mom, I met a guy on the internet and he's in the Navy and he won't leave me alone. He keeps calling me and texting me and I block his number, but then he calls me from a different number and then I block his online account, but he creates new ones to try and contact me. And he goes on to tell his mom that this man, allegedly, paid him $200 for a little bit of butt fucking while mom was away at work. That's right. A Lieutenant Commander Martinez in the Navy, currently serving, snuck into the house while mom was gone to take advantage of a 14 year old boy, slip him $200. Hang him. I don't need to see the rest of the video. We're going to finish it, but hang him. That's it. F skip the court martial, skip Fort Leavenworth, skip the Article 15, skip the dishonorable discharge, hang him. Bro, hang him in Times Square and televise it for the whole world to see. And then continue to stalk him. Some would say, not a good look. Now here's a little bit of a warning for all of you adults out there that have kids. How did these two, a 61 year old gross man and a 14 year old link up well the internet? And it was a dating site. This young 14 year old decided to go on a dating site for gay men called Sniffles. I didn't know what it was, so I Googled it. The welcome page is a little aggressive. A lot of, lot of man butt and bulges. I didn't, well, wasn't really prepared to see right off the bat, you know, could have been a little more low key. Oh God, I literally am scarred from this website. And I mean, being a dating website for gay men, <laughs> you think that there would be like an age limit. Hey, you gotta sign in with your date of birth. You gotta verify your age before you get out here, just in case some creepy stuff happens. But kids lie. Kids lie. 
and I'm not going to blame the kid. You know how many times I've gone onto, you know how many times I went onto a website as a younger, a younger kid, teenager, right? And it said, hey, how old are you? 18. Uh, I, I was 15, but 18. Who's going to know? Are you going to verify this? You can't, right? <sighs> no, no, there isn't. There isn't. You just, you just click. Hey, well, how old are you? I was born in this year. And it goes, oh, that's old enough. And then you're in. You're just in. So you don't even need to create an account. You can browse anonymously. And I click that. I These dating websites need to start requiring identification. State issued identification. State issued identification. Not, 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 a, not a, not a campus ID. Not a fucking, none of that, man. It, that shit's gotta change. It, it just has to. Fuck. I said, I'll, I'll browse anonymously. I really don't need spam emails from a butt fucking site. No offense, guys. Just not my cup of tea. Not my the name. mustache might say different, but I say nay nay. <laughs> and immediately in my town, everybody's profile and their locations. It was like grinder, but more gross was just dicks. Wow. Is it really like that? Because it is not like that on Tinder. I've been on Tinder. And what's the other one that was just as popular? Plenty of fish. It is not like that. At least to my knowledge and to my memory is not like that. The fuck? It, you, 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 you're basically doxing yourself. And this is a 14 year old, man. Like. Profile and their locations. It was like grinder, but more gross was just dicks and buttholes everywhere across my city. Honestly, I'm thinking about taking a bunch of photos of it, doing a little bit of bribery. Is this your cock? Have you seen this cock on the internet? You might be surprised that they're the owner of such and such salon or uh, salon. Everybody's probably not surprised that a dude on a gay dating website is the owner of a salon, but you wouldn't be surprised at how many of these dudes are married. So moms and dads out there that have children's on the internets, maybe we pay a little bit closer attention to what they're clicking on hands on parents downloading and messaging people on okay because potentially like this scenario they could start talking to an older dude who eventually tricks them into meeting up and then bribes them with 200 dollars for a pounding and then decides to stalk them continuously when the kid realizes oh god this could have been the wrong decision maybe everybody on the internet isn't exactly what i expected 14 because kids are naive man they're naive. They just, they just are. They don't, they don't know any better. That's, that's why you're supposed to have a mom and a dad, really. And maybe the dad's not around for this kid, man. Like, I remember when I was a kid, the one thing my parents stressed more than anything else, bro, is do not trust anyone you don't no, you don't get into their car. You don't engage in conversation with them. If someone says, if someone walks up to you and says, hey, I know your mother and I know your father and, you know, they're busy right now. They, they, they told me to come get you and I'm supposed to pick you up and take you home. Do not trust that under any circumstance. You do not go with that person. They couldn't stress it enough. They could not stress it enough. And here we are in a more dangerous time and in a more weird fucking time in society and parents aren't doing any of that man any of that mm. oh my god listen i know the dating app world is crazy but maybe when you go no. over that person's home after meeting them there should be a couple red flags when you see the spongebob bedspread and a whole bunch of batman action figures surrounding his race car bed and to piggyback onto the parents paying attention, when mom decided to call the school, and why well, the police decided to call the school because it's part of an investigation now, mm -hmm. well, it turns out little Jimmy was skipping school. It wasn't in school. Some might say a red flag the parent should be notified of. And if they're aware of it, I don't know. Why isn't the school not notifying the parents that the kid didn't show up to school? Because I remember my senior year, I skipped school two days straight to go get a fantastic blowjob from this girl that I was dating in the fucking baseball parking lot. 
And uh, yeah, the school called my house and said, hey, did you know that your son hasn't been in school for the past two fucking days? Oh my God, my mom lit into my ass. I was 18. So like, this kid's like 14. How, how, how is that not happening? How is the school not doing this? This is just like a complete utter failure for everyone involved that's an adult. The, 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 the mom failed, the school failed. This Navy officer is a 100% failure. This kid was doomed, bro. Everyone around him that is supposed to be looking out for him and protecting him is completely ignoring him. I don't know, maybe fucking fix it. I don't think people are aware of how many young kids go on the internet looking for attention, not thinking anything will happen, but then something like this does and their life is ruined like that. Mm -hmm. I was 14. I was on the internet when yeah. it was new. Yes. Doing stupid shit. Thank God. Same, bro. AOL Instant Messenger, AIM. What was uh? What was the other one? What, what, what was the other one? And I was getting on there and talking to complete fucking strangers. In my head, I was just like, oh, uh, these are just other kids my age. These are just, uh, he's probably 12, he's probably 13, uh, she's probably 11, uh, she's pro he's probably in my grade. Right? I assumed that everyone I saw was like me. No. No. I didn't do anything this dumb where I could have been tricked or taken advantage of and then mentally scarred for the rest of my life. So yes, let's be aware that mom and kid have some issues to work out here. Yes. But the 61 year old man looking at a 14 year old boy is the issue. But yes. Lieutenant Commander Martinez sent a couple text messages and I quote, it was amazing, baby. Hopefully we can meet up again next week or later this week. Red heart emoji, what was good? You may meet up again, that means you met up already. What'd you do on that first meet up? That was so good. Whoa, whoa, 14 year old. Oh, and here's another thing. I wanna throw this guy into a goddamn wood chipper. For the Lieutenant Commander, who's a little bit brain dead. Thank God, all those different accounts. All those messages that are saved. All the numbers that go to this young 14 year old's phone where they're saved and it seems that the lieutenant commander was doing some naughty calls on company time because some of those tracked phone calls came from the Naval Information Warfare Systems Command. I wonder who works there. Hey, Navy, we all know the stereotype. I get it. Maybe calling 14 year olds during the duty hours. From a, from a government location in a government building probably from a government phone, quite possibly from a government computer. From your government phone is something you should probably not do, unless you want to get caught. And then by all means, I hope you do. I hope you fuck up like this Lieutenant Commander did. And I hope that the United States military has learned a lesson from Lieutenant Colonel Swetland over here Maybe the best thing you can do is the right thing and take the appropriate amount of action death for people that assault others. Death. Just throwing that out there. Not, now, I'm sure no, been... no, not just others. People get assaulted all the time. This is a 14 year old kid. Death. There's no other option. Death. The video's been demonetized, so the best way to support the channel is to get yourself a shirt. Bing bang! We got two angry cops morale patches. Stick them on your helmet, shove them in your truck. That uh, sounded a little bit like shoving in your butt. Let's not do that. Please don't do that. But you can go to angry-cops.com and get yourself some. The cheapest way to support the channel is leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this gross old man. Oh, all right. See you next time, weirdos. Death. Oh, did you know the Sergeant Major of the Army just made an Instagram post that says, hey, we're making warrant officers in permanent recruiting stations to help learn how to recruit a uh, new fighting force for the military. Sergeant Major, I'm right here. Give me the advertising money. I'm still in the military. I love it. 
It's great. Hook a brother up. <laughs> I can put a link in the lower description if you want more information about joining the army. Yeah, more people know angry cops than they know that sergeant major. No one probably gives a shit about that sergeant major. But... Death. Don't even care how at this point. Kill him as fast as possible. I, I will never... I, I will never... I will never... I will, I will never agree that the punishment should ever be anything less than death. Immediate, swift death. And, you know, because the whole country's full of fucking pussies. <sighs> and they don't want to do it slow and deliberately and, and, and very, very painful, which is what I would prefer, but death. Parents, I got... I got nothing left for you. I, I said I, I said everything I needed to say. Angry cop said everything he needed to say. Watch your kids. I I don't know I, I don't know what's so hard about that. And if you can't watch them, you shouldn't have birthed them. I sound like an asshole when I say that, but if you can't watch them, and you or her, and you can't take care of them and you're just going to neglect whatever the fuck they're doing, you shouldn't have had them in the first place. And... Borderline don't even deserve your child, really, if you're going to be that negligent to the fact. I mean, like Angry Cop said, I, I used the internet when it was brand new. I was born before the internet. I used it when it was brand new. And... I never, ever get granted, given, I'll give you this, dating websites didn't exist when I was on the internet, but still not an, that's just still not an excuse. That's, that's still, watch your kid. And if you can't watch your kid, you don't deserve your kid. I'm not saying you have to be a helicopter parent. I'm not saying you have to be down there on, breathing down their neck every single second of the day, but just Watch what they do, man. I don't understand what's so hard about that. Watch what they do. And all I heard in this video was the kid's mother, the kid's mother, the kid's mother, the kid's mother. That's all I heard. Mom, mom, mom. Where is dad? No guidance. No, no, no guidance. And I'm not saying this in a bad way, but man, women don't view the world the way that men do. Y'all just don't, dude. Y'all never will. It, a lot of women, man, y'all y'all view everything as sunshines and rainbows, and the world is a good place, and everyone's nice, and and everything is everything is sunny and stuff like that. Men aren't like that. We view the world for what it actually is—a very cold, cruel, harsh, gross, dirty fucking place that is unforgiving as fuck, man. And if you have that kind of guidance, this won't happen to you. I, I promise you, it just won't. If y'all hear of any updates for this or find out of any future possible punishment that this guy will receive, because he will receive, he will receive punishment. Let me know what it is. Let me know what it is. It's probably not gonna be what I want. But as long as it's more than the last guy got, then I guess I'll just have to be satisfied with those results. Because the last guy didn't get shit. The last guy got a slap on the wrist, got to keep his job, got to keep his rank, got to keep his pension, got to keep everything. Hopefully that doesn't happen this time. Someone said, the fact that these people aren't stripped of rank, dishonorably discharged, sent to Leavenworth, and lose all benefits is beyond me. Well, we don't know yet. We don't know what he got. So I'm not going to speculate beyond that. Haha, <laughs> right here, someone said wood chippers. Exactly. Exactly. These people don't deserve to live, man. You're out here taking advantage of children. You don't deserve to live. You don't deserve to breathe 
the same air that all of us are breathing. You are taking up space. You are not worth your rank. You are not worth your uniform. You are not worth the oxygen that you are taking from the rest of us. You deserve nothing but death. That's it. And if you don't agree, that's fine. But I'm right, and you're wrong. It is what it is. Someone said, why is your 14-year-old on a dating on a dating app? Mom needs to pay more attention to Junior. The Navy needs to dropkick the officer out without letting him retire. Dropkick him off a fucking Apache or a Chinook. Or a Blackhawk. Either one. Pick one. I don't care. It'd be, it'd be great either way. Someone said, going into chat rooms in 96 when I was 11 was one hell of a wild time. How I wasn't stolen was beyond me. My level of trust with people. Good thing I'm ugly. <laughs> and I was that same kid, man. Early, uh, mid to late 90s. I was also that kid. I was also on the internet. I was, on, I was in these chat rooms. And it was, I was naive to it. Man, I was very naive to it. I thought that everyone was my age. I thought that everyone was like me. I thought that everyone that I was talking to was also in the seventh grade. I thought that everyone that I was talking to was also in middle school. I thought, like, someone said, a rare occasion when a service member has the moral standards of his commander in chief. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. However, Biden's a little more protected than this guy. This guy's going to get fucked hard by UCMJ. Very hard. What it's going to be, I don't know. And if it's nothing, I'm going to lose my goddamn mind. Someone said, active duty Air Force here. We just had an active enlisted airman get himself arrested uh, on the 2nd of this month by OSI for attempting to diddle some kids. Who was actually an undercover OSI agent who used AI to make herself, oh, female to make herself look younger to bait him in further. Oh, no, 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 I read that wrong. Okay, this guy was trying to go after the kids and an agent for OSI, which that's, that's Na it's Air Force. So for the army, it's, it's, it's called JAG um, or it's called, uh, what's the name of it? CID. Used AI to make herself look younger to bait him to expose himself. Fantastic work. Someone said this makes my skin crawl and infuriates me at the same time. Yes, it does me too. And yes, what Angry Cop said, I will say the same thing. A lot of people in the military. We're not all bad. Some of us are crazy. Some of us are weird. Uh, there's some that, you know, little... A little wacky, right? A little off, maybe. Maybe a little bit insane. But this is not the entirety of the military. This is just a select few individuals that just so happen to be wearing the uniform. And, hmm. Someone said, my rule of thumb on dating sites, if a girl's profile says something like, I'm not 29, I'm actually 24, and I don't know how to change it, is a huge red flag because that means they more than likely made that profile when they were underage. Someone put here, I caught a fellow sailor with child porn on his command issued laptop. He was 18 months short of retirement and on his last deployment, he was facing 18 years in Leavenworth. What a fucking joke that is. But after the dust settled, he got 18 months in the brig, reduction to E1, forfeiture of all pay, allowances, and dishonorable discharge. He had thousands of images, not only on his Navy-issued laptop, but on an external hard drive at his home. I was so angry with that guy. And if you're not going to give him life, and you're not going to give them death, that's the next, that's the next best thing. Uh, what, what, what rank was he? Oh, just a fellow sailor. It didn't say his rank, so he could have been anywhere. Any, he was an E1, uh, and you don't get demoted. If you're an officer, you don't go to E1. If you're an officer and you lose your rank, 
it's probably going to be via a court martial and uh the the rank won't even matter you're just going to get stripped completely like you never even had rank to begin with and just the disarm but discharge so this guy was actually enlisted all the way down to e1 he could have been e2 e3 e4 5 6 7 8 um uh but it said he was 18 months short of retirement which means that he was on his 19th year in the service 19 years you're looking at a rank of quite possibly e7 e8 that's usually that's usually that that rank matches that time in service all the way down to e1 that's a massive loss massive you just wasted literally your whole fucking life and in some cases that's worse than going to jail especially when you've done put damn near almost 20 years into the damn. uh someone said in my day we would charge them with violating article 125 of the ucmj then add on so many charges they would self-delete <laughs> uh, yeah if only we could be so lucky, Desert Partisan. If only we could be so lucky. I worked at a special duty assignment at a correction and rehabilitation squadron in the United States Air Force in the 80s. We had a couple of Uncle Purvies get into the program, trying to reverse or reduce their court martials. Two old E-7s and a lieutenant colonel, all busted. Oh, wow. So you can go from officer straight down to E-1? I, I thought that they would either just like put you back down to second lieutenant or just strip your rank fucking completely. But I, I guess you can. I, it's rare when that happens for a lieutenant colonel to get busted all the way back down to an enlisted rank. Um, but the, none of them completed the program. Yeah, Tracy, we've been saying that a lot lately. <laughs> back when I was young. Back when I was, yeah, back in my day, and, uh, dude, you just gotta watch your fucking children, bro. This shit fucking drives me insane. It, it, it makes me fucking homicidal, bro. It really does. And, and I don't know about you guys, but from what I've noticed, I just feel like it's getting worse and worse and worse and worse and increasingly more and more and more dangerous. Because... There's so many people in this country that make excuses for these kinds of people, man. And then the last video that we watched, uh, fucking Tyler Oliveira, he, he, that there's a big, I, I don't, I don't know if you guys know this or not. I have some new people in the chat at the moment. We watched, uh, we watched a video, uh, last week where this guy goes by the name of Tyler Oliveira. <laughs> you can find him on YouTube if you want. He did a video where he went to a place in florida that is specifically built for pedophiles it's their own city their own community and i'm just like you know what should be their own city their own community their own fucking cemetery i'd be down with them having their own cemetery but their own place where they can just live and go about the rest of their life like they never did anything that Dog does not hunt for me at all, bro. At all. No, single mothers aren't terrible. It's just negligent single, single, it's not even single. You, you can be a single father and be terrible, right? It's, it's not single, it's just negligence, really, at the end of the day. And on top of that, father figure for these kids, man. And if you don't have a father figure, a brother, an uncle, like I am to my niece. Her dad's not around all that much, man. And for the foreseeable future, he's not going to be around all that much. He's going to be in Africa, got a contracting job. So he's going to be gone for a long time, okay? So he's not going to be able to see this girl all that much. He's not going to be able to teach her all that much. He's not going to be able to raise her all that much. You know who's going to be doing that? Me, man, me. I'm going to be the father figure for my niece. I am going to be that guy. I am going to be that male role model that every kid should have. It doesn't have to be a husband. It'd be great if that was the case. It's not always ideal. Divorce, people don't get along sometimes. Yada, yada, yada. It'd be ideal, but just a male model, man. You just... 
of any kind. Really. The, the title doesn't matter, dude. That little girl in there is my niece, but I treat her like she's my daughter. So, someone said here, minimum age on dating apps should be at least 21 years of age. If you're not old enough to drink or smoke, then you should not be on a dating app. 21, 18, whatever, whatever. I mean, if you're old enough to vote, you can be on these dating websites. 21... Sure, I could agree with that, but 18 would suffice. I'm raising my nieces too. Their fathers work 90 hours a week and don't have time to spend with them. I'm so glad you're doing that, Liam. That's fantastic. You need to be able to teach them things, man. Not only protect them, but show them. Show them, enlighten them, educate them, be there for them, right? Just like they need that. They need that. Man, one person can't do it by themselves. A lot of single, there's a lot of single fathers, a lot of single fathers that do, a lot of single mothers that do. But it would be so much more beneficial if there was two. Whether it be a husband, brother, uncle, uh, nephew, somebody, bro, grandfather, man, somebody, just a guy, man. A guy, because a guy, uh, I'm telling you, man, us men, we look at the world way differently than women. We do. To us, everything is a threat. To us, everything smells bad. To us, everything is a danger. To us, everything is a trap. Until we figure out that it isn't. Until we investigate more and realize, oh, no, okay, that's fine. Right? That's the way we view the world. Some would say it's a pessimistic way of viewing the world, but that's the way we view it. We're just intrinsically designed that way to see the world for what it is. I think you should be able to drink at 18. No idea why the USA is weird with that. Nah, man. I've seen, I, I've seen people my age drink alcohol, Beto, and they can't even handle it. Let alone a fucking 18-year-old. However... It's kind of like a double-edged sword and kind of like a double standard of what I'm about to say. Because me personally, I feel that if you're old enough to join the service, shoot a rifle, and go die for your country, you should be able to have a goddamn beer. However, everyone else, I know, double standard, everyone else, you ain't serving, no alcohol. Wait till you're 21. And I've seen people 25, 35, 45. I've seen, I've, I've, seen, oh, I've seen people that are old enough to be my parents that can't handle their fucking alcohol and they're just retarded. And you introduce that to an 18-year-old that's just figuring out how to navigate the world and figuring out how to, how to just be and behave and act. God forbid they don't, they don't have decent parents to teach them how to control the alcohol or control the liquor to drink responsibly. And it, it, teenagers already have that God complex. You add alcohol to that equation and it's just, it's not good. So I disagree. 